I love the idea of having this just be a really beautiful, authentic conversation between us that, you know, we, we get to co-create and weave and flow together and just share our hearts. And that feels really alive for me whenever I, um, whenever I get voice notes from you or message you or just like interact with you, I feel a very beautiful, strong flow from you. Like, you know, and this is just like how I view you, but, uh, so I just want to start by introducing you prism just thank you because i saw you from across a giant conference room and you stood up and were sharing at this conference and you introduced yourself by saying your name hi my name is prism love and i think you said something like and i'm a professional cuddler and i was like (laughs) who is that and of course after that segment um exited I like went over and found you immediately and I'm like who are you your name is what like and what do you do and I was just like my heart was just like bursting open from like the permission that you give just by being you and like stating your name and stating who you are in the world like the permission you give to people to like be their most authentic self from that alone is like potent And so I'm just so thankful for you being chosen to speak and, you know, during that segment of the conference so that I was able to like meet you and, you know, connect with you. And I work in the quantum a lot, right? That's part of the the high vibrational world. And when this new technology tool came, came about this water bottle that is bringing us together in this moment. Now Mm -hmm. I was, I was in the field and I was like, I saw you. I was like, Oh, there's prism. I'll reach out to her, you know? And, but it's like there, that flow of really allowing and not pushing and just kind of aligning soul aligning with people in resonance is just, it's so beautiful. So Hi, Prism. Hi. (laughs) Wow. Thank you for all of that. And I just want to say it's been, it's been equally mutual how you're just, we, we talk about just going into our ease and our own flow. That means a lot to me to, to have someone out in the world like that. So thank you. Yeah. Thank you for your insight. Thank you. I, I feel like that, like the rise of this beautiful allowance for the flow of the feminine, of the cyclical nature of life is, is really prominent in the way that, you know, we're moving through the world, the way that we share our offerings. And I wonder how does like flow really participate or act in your life? Like, how do you really feel into the way that flow moves for you? Well, that's a good question. As you well know, like right before this call, my friend got stranded on the highway. I was completely doing something else at another person's house, like helping them with their day. And flow to me looks like you're you're always checking in to see what can I give, you know, where am I at to know how I can flow because the amount I feel, the amount that we put into ourselves is the amount that we can give out. And so flow to me means like, okay, what am I doing every day to fill my own cup so that when something like that happens and you get a call being like, we need you, you can, you can more than likely flow and, and help that person because you have done the due diligence every day to develop the habit of putting into yourself that self-care, self-love to then be able to shine that out and flow, not just with yourself, but now with others in your day. Absolutely. And it just, how does flow work with you? I want to hear yeah. from you. Like, how does flow work? 
on your day? And what do you think of flow when we think of flow? Yeah, I, I feel very similarly. It's like, if, if my cup overfloweth, if I'm doing my daily practices and my devotional practices and really staying true to like the path that is alive for me, then it feels like I'm in overflow. And then it's easy to flow outward. It's easy to be generous. It's easy to share my heart and pour love out into the world. And Mm. when I have those times where I'm feeling depleted, maybe I haven't prioritized my self-care or, you know, my practices for whatever reason, it's like, it's, yeah, it's like, I will burn out if I try to flow out from me. And so it's like Mm -hmm. those times it's about kind of refilling. And so, and it's a practice of, of like walking that, that path of integrity and being a messy human, right. And allowing for whatever, whatever chaos or ease comes our way. Right. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I, you know, so for me in my chart, like in my astrological chart, which is like the blueprint of like who I am cosmically, right. Mm -hmm. I have a lot of earth. I have a lot of fire and I have a lot of air, but I, I don't have, I think I have one, I think I have one Scorpio in my whole chart and everything else is not water. Oh, where is and the so, Scorpio located? Do you know? Oh, I can't remember right now, but it's okay. something not, <laughs> not massive, um, but I'm sure it's massive. Nice. Um, <laughs> I should know that. Um, but I, I guess for me, it's, it's easier for me to, um, interact with, understand, deepen into these other elements, right? Air, fire, water, or air, fire, earth. But water is always this mystery, this great mystery. And it's, and it's sometimes like, I don't know, like, can I swim in the deep end? Can I go there? Can I flow freely? And so it's kind of a later in life, um, deepening in with this element. And I, and I just like so deeply in devotion now because I have this daily practice of drinking up miracles with this vessel that we, we are utilizing. And I just wonder like, what's your relationship with the element of water? Oh, that's a good question. So my relationship with water has been growing and growing and growing. I don't know how many years it's been. But like, I've been studying like the influences that we have on water for years for like, you know, it's a living, breathing computer. It's a liquid computer. It literally records everywhere it's been and it can see, it can see what's um, around it. And they've done studies to where they also can water can read if you put water um and rice in two jars and you mix them up and mix up the water and rice and then you have written on there a kind word on one of them and then a, a word on another one and then put it away for an epically long time like a few months and then get it back out the one that had the icky word is like green dark gray, black, muggy. And then the other one that had the good word on it is just beautiful, pristine, like maybe a little bit of milky white from the rice, but it's golden. So that water feels vibration. It it reads things. Um, There's another lady, she's on Instagram and um, I'm trying to remember, she wrote a book on water. What she does is she takes water and puts it in a petri dish and she freezes it and finds out what it's speaking to her and this particular day she was working with water she put it in a petri dish and her cat like dipped the paw in it and how she frees it she's like ah but then she just stuck it in the freezer anyway and pulled it out like i think she waits like 10 minutes or something like that because it's a real thin layer and she wants to get the first freeze. She pulled it out and no joke, it had 
it, it froze into the shape of a cat's paw print. And she has all these posted pictures online. Um, she's putting it underneath her bed before, and it's recorded the dream she had. Um, like she's asked the water questions and it literally responds. It's <clears throat> if she shows it, the there's clear Petri dishes. If she has a picture of a person and she lays the Petri dish over it and then freezes it, it literally freezes the picture of the person's face. So seeing all this, like, okay, water can like, and we're water, but like it literally records and the way you kind of like clear it of its energy is you either freeze it, you boil it. Or one thing um, nature does is it kind of spins it and it reconstructs the water. <clears throat> so learning all these things about water, it's like I started really going, okay, so it can hear me, it can literally see me, it can read my energy, it can hear me. What if I sang to it? What if I spoke to it? And then that was recorded in that water and then I drank it. So it started way back. And so when then you introduced this liquid light bottle that has literally all of the yumminess just put into it with light and frequency and magnets and the whole thing, just frequency technology. And I, I was like, that's, that's it. And then including the hydrogen. So like, yeah, I was like, oh, okay. The lights make sense to me. You know, putting frequency in the water makes sense to me. I didn't know a lot about hydrogen. I didn't know it was like, you know, adding more hydrogen gets the water wetter. I never knew that before. And so just learning about that was like the new thing. But yeah, literally knowing, okay, this is this is what's really going to make a difference in my life because what I have dealt with, and I know I'm talking a lot of it, that um, so try and make the story quick. I would drink water, 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 and I would get very, very dehydrated still. And I didn't realize that the what my cells had all this water around them wasn't able to penetrate the cells at all because of the hydrogen um, pump that is like a, a pump that pumps the water into the cell. And so there's two things you need. You need hydrogen and then you need like, um, like a salt, like a mineral, a mineral potassium pump and whatever. So I would like up to my minerals. But at that story, I learned, okay, just because I'm drinking water doesn't mean I'm actually nourishing or hydrating my cells. That was a new one on me. So, so many little things from my world talking about water and like explaining it to me. So like when you came to me about the bottle, it made sense. It wasn't like a hard, a hard thing to convey because I, I got it in so many ways. Like, okay, yeah, we need more hydrogen. Okay. Yeah. We need uh light frequency. We need the, which to me is sound, light and sound. And then the magnet, the poles and working with that. literally amazing yeah I, I share that uh similar journey with water like I you know I was in, back in the day I considered myself like really like kind of snobby I'm like oh I don't drink tap water because of the fluoride and it's gonna you know calcify my pineal gland and I want my third eye to be radiant and but it was this dead water it wasn't structured it didn't have any mineral minerals in it and it was right. just sort of depleting me and, and just kind of stripping all the minerals that I was receiving from my food or my supplements out. And so, yeah, that's been a journey for me as well of like, oh, I need to structure the water and then bring hydrogen in it so that it can actually hydrate my body and remineralize mm -hmm. it. And there's just so much. To right. learn. So that, that journey alone of just like 
deepening into the, the understanding of hydrating the body has been just so beautiful, like, and just allowing it to, to arrive when it arrives, right. The wisdom that we're ready for. And, um, but I definitely feel maybe for the first time, like hydrated from the inside. Like I used to be wow. so it's kind of scaly and dry and just, I don't know. It's, it's like, I just feel nourished and like, oh, I'm just like, oh, this is it. And that alone deepens my relationship with the element of water. Right. It's mm-hmm. like, oh, now I feel the flow of the water. And I love that too. Like learning that water is programmable and like singing to water and like putting intentions into water and having water rituals. And, you know, just like, how can we really utilize this, this computer, as you say, this programming of water to really nourish us in so many different ways. So that's fun. Um, And I think that the, you know, the molecular hydrogen that is, is just kind of blowing my mind. It's, it is. So all the hydrogen that we're interacting with on earth was created 13 point something billion years ago during the creation of the universe and the big bang, right? So that's the hydrogen that's in our body. That's the hydrogen that's being created in our bottles, which, you know, like it comes from this dual chamber electrolysis process. It infuses into the water. And then you are literally drinking up the miracles of like the universe's infancy. Wow. Yeah. And, And the wisdom held in the molecule, the wisdom of the miracle molecule it just knows like science has a lot of proof as to like, Oh, it helps with this. It does this, it does this, but like, why? Right. But the hydrogen is moving into the body and it's so wise and ancient that it knows exactly what belongs and what, you know, is working well and knows exactly what isn't, what isn't in alignment with your thriving state. And it works sort of, you know, with all this vitality and ease, to kind of allow those areas that are stuck or maybe are not really wanting to come out of the body because they're just like, well, we've been here. This pain has been here. We're just going to be here. And the hydrogen's like, no, no, no. We're going to train the terrain of the body, train the terrain of the mind, the emotions and the spirit to thrive. And so this doesn't belong. Come on, let's come out. And then it helps it helps all the stuff that we don't need that doesn't serve us to re- be right. removed and everything that is serving us and is keeping us, you know, really thriving is staying and being nurtured with hydration. And it's, and to actually embody that, that truth, like to have an embodied experience as being, you know, being hydrated with this, this molecule infusion it's like, Oh, like it's, it's hard to describe, but once you feel it in the body, it's like, Oh yeah. (laughs) So I wonder, have you experienced, um, like, like specific things in your body or your mind or, you know, your, um, your spiritual interactions since the hydrogen? Well, for, for sure with, is since the hydrogen and who knows, it could be a myriad myriad of things. I think it all plays a part because, you know, having fresh juice is not like, not just working with the hydrogen bottle, but also like, okay, just spending time in gratitude. Okay. Spending time in like, um, eating nourishing foods, right. So that it has more potential to actually do the things that we're looking for it to do to bring life and add to this quality of life. For me, I feel like since the water bottle has come into my life, I have been 
more able to hear, like clear audience, more hearing and more visuals of like clairvoyant type of thing, like, oh, or a name or like a, a thing comes up and it's like, oh, that's, that's this, or that's this, or here's what I'm sensing here, or it feels like this. Does that, is, is that true for you? And that person goes, holy cow, how did you feel that? So it's like clear sentient, clear voyant, clear audience. All of these things are just, since I got the bottle, um, you know, I know that it's, it's never one thing, right? It's, it's like who you surround yourself with and all this. And at the same time, I don't feel like it's a coincidence. Like when the water starts coming online, since we are water, that communication is there. You know, that, that even telepathy, right? Hearing my friend in the other room, she's not really talking, but she's thinking about something. And I come into the room and I'm like, Hey, what about blah, blah, blah. She's like, I was just thinking about that. Just perfect. Well, it's, it's almost like, okay. So the awareness then, right. When, when water I feel is programmed in more awareness because water gets awareness too. awareness. Oh, it remembers itself. Oh, the light. Oh, the sound. Oh, it's that awareness. So why wouldn't it do that in the body? More awareness. Because it's already there. Things are already like, there's so much money flying through the air right now. Like Venmo, Cash App, <laughs> like hitting us in the face. Like just money. <laughs> right? And so it's like, what else? Even, you know, there's water in the air. What, What is being programmed just, just in space and you know let alone a like a juicy substance as water it's being programmed we're being programmed one way or the other why not program it with what we want with what our intention is why not more than that and then have it really relate outwards in a way where it's like oh wow i am more aware now because i'm I'm living, I'm able to live with even more intention because I, I'm I'm feeding the water here with intention. That's my seed. And then all of a sudden you drink it, it becomes you, which is a sacred act. Water becoming you, and you're inviting that water to become your body, sacred, sacred act. To now where like, oh, okay, we can breathe this new awareness, this new potential to potential, I feel is so it, it doesn't surprise me, but it does surprise me at the same time. Like it doesn't surprise me if I think about it. Oh yeah, that makes sense. But it's still, it was, it's still been surprising. Like, oh, wow. Thank you. I needed that communication. So yeah, absolutely. This heightened awareness of of the like beyond the the material, right? It's it's really allowing the the flow of the energy to become more powerful. Have have you noticed anything um since you've gotten the bottle like what has changed in your world that you've noticed that is like just some, just maybe some spiritual changes, some physical changes. What have you noticed? So right off the bat, I had just tons of energy. Like probably within the first two days, I was like, oh my goodness. I felt like, <laughs> I, was, I felt like I was like the big bang, like rebirthing myself. <laughs> this newfound energy. And I didn't, I didn't understand why, but essentially I was finally hydrating my cells and, and the, the ATP production of the cells, right? The, the healthy voltage of the cells were truly coming online. Like you were talking about, like the, the hydration around the cells was finally like doing what it was supposed to. And the cells were able to like fire it all, all, all the way. Right. And 
but at the same time, it felt very sustainable. It felt like, um, I just got really clear, like within the first two weeks of having the bottle, I got, I, I was just crystal clear focused. I knew exactly what I wanted to achieve. I know I, like I was having visions of like clear visions with all the information, you know, downloads of what I was going to create, how I was going to create it, when it was going to happen. Wow. And I just, it was like the surrender to this flow, but with so much trust, um, like this, this newfound confidence almost where it was like, wow, before I was a little cloudy, I was a little bit inconsistent. I was, um, you know, I had a lot, I mean, I've always been a visionary, so I've always had a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of ideas, but sometimes it would be so overwhelming that I'd be like, you know what? I don't know what to do because there's just too much. And so I'll just, I'll just mm-hmm. watch everybody else do stuff. But when the hydrogen came in, it was like, no, this is what we're doing. And like, and these are the steps and these are the days, and this is the launch date. And like, just every part, it was like, just clarity. And my wow. brain felt like it was functioning in a way that had, I had never experienced. And so now there's this sustainable, it's not as like, whoo, but there's like this sustained energy that is just carrying me through and my mm-hmm. actions, like my, my truth, my, like what is alive for me and what is not in my path. It's just so clear. It's like, it's just filtering out everything else except for like the clear path. So those are the things that have been incredible. And like, and that heightened sense of awareness is part of that, of that deep sense of trust of like, oh, I'm hearing, like I work with dragon energy and the dragons, Interesting, just, like that. The, yeah, the frequencies of the, the high vibrational benevolent dragons, they, they're just able to run through and, and give me medicine and information and guidance and blessings. And I'm just like, oh yeah, okay, sure. And it's just, it's been magical. Like it's the year of the dragon, I think it is. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's awesome. It's just so much fun. And I feel like Mm -hmm. also the intention of like my personal mantra of drinking the water is drinking up miracles. Right. Like, having that as the program, right? So I'm not only am I actually drinking up the miracle molecule, but I'm also programming the relationship. Essentially, I am drinking up miracles. I believe in miracles. Miracles happen. Miracle, miracle. I'm in a miracle portal, you know? And then everything on the outside begins to resonate with that miracle portal Mm -hmm. energy. So it's just, it's fun. Now, I know your mama your mama of kiddos, how it, have you given the water the, to them like snacks or, you oh, yeah. know, like with their snack or have you noticed changes in them at all? So since we've introduced the bottle, um, I, I, you know, it's like an offering like, Hey, here's some water for you here. I need you to chug some of this. All right. Will you, you know, and it's always an offering, like, would you like some hydrogen water. Mm -hmm. And most of the time they're like, yeah, my younger son, especially the eight-year-old is like, oh, I need my hydrogen water. And then my almost 12-year-old is more like, I mean, if you really want me to drink it, I will, (laughs) you know? And then my husband's like, yeah, give me my hydrogen water. So it's like this offering. I program, you know, with the the help of the bottle, walking around, passing it to people. Um, And then the, the nutrition. So I've been pretty good about what we bring in the house, you know, lots of good, high quality foods. We spend a lot of money on high quality foods in our home, but it's cleaned up even more. It's as if the kids don't even want to eat sugar anymore. They're like, yeah, I don't want that treat. I don't want that treat for Valentine's day because I'd rather have Uh. this nourishing snack. And so it's like, they're their awareness of what's going to be good for them and the choices that are behind that, that's been huge. And then that creates their systems, right? So if they're not choosing poor foods or they're getting a treat from somewhere and they're not eating it, 
then mm-hmm. they're like their terrain is also being trained from the hydrogen to, to make aligned choices. And, and that's incredible. <laughs> so yeah. And overall, lovely. Everybody, thank you. Yeah. Everybody's just sweeter now. Everyone's just becoming sweeter. So water bringing sweetness. Right. And what about you? You have one kiddo? No, I have seven. You have seven children? Uh, yeah. You have seven six children? Six girls and one boy. Five are all grown up and moved out now. Really? And two... oh. Mama. <laughs> so have you shared it with the, the kiddos that are around? So so the five have grown up and moved out of the house. Three are in California, two are in Minnesota. And then because, and then two are with her dad and his wife in Minnesota. And I fly up and see them when I can, because I just moved to the Carolinas and for my health, uh, because I was putting in so many hours at, you know, I had the divorce and I was a single mom of seven. So like I worked myself silly to the bone and I almost fell off the planet. And so I've been on this, you know, I would, because my body, I had a doctor's note of cancer, um, in my thyroid and then in my lymph nodes. And so I have been on this journey, this healing journey for a long time because they wanted to give me surgery. They wanted to give me chemo. They wanted to do all the things. And I was having so many migraines that I wasn't able to keep a regular job. It was a lot. I ended up, you know, living out of my car for a while because the hospital expenses and just trying to get more of my 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 health which insurance doesn't really pay for you know the 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 natural path and things like that or for the like hydrogen bottles they don't have hydrogen water at the doctor's office these are things that I go okay what is my life worth to me because I know I'm not depleted in surgery I know I'm not depleted in chemo and so it it was just this wisdom moment to move to the Carolinas being like, you know what? I need to be in an environment where I'm not in freezing weather all the time, where my body has an easier time eating food from the earth, all of it. So it's been like this journey. So have I shared it with them? They're in other states and I haven't brought it. Oh, well, I did bring it to Minnesota, but then I showed it to my friend and she was like, loving it but yeah no I didn't show my kids I was they they will they they've seen so many of my tools my healing tools but this one I've kind of kept just on my on my own for my own path a lot because sharing my journey with a lot of people that might want something else for me might want me to do this or that and it's like at the end of the day I need to choose what works for me and not every other thing that everyone else wants me to do so it's it's like literally following my heart and so yeah I haven't been in a place where I've wanted to give out a whole lot because I've needed so much attention in my own life that I want to give from a place of overflow, never, never depletion. And so that has been a big thing to step back and being like boundary. Like, no, I, I'm not, I'm not giving that way right now. I'm not sharing that right now. I'm not like, which feels weird a little bit at first, you know, you you have to literally teach your brain. Okay. I'm not being selfish right now by tending to my body by drink, by getting this $450 bottle, you know, whatever. It's worth it to me, you know? 
Wow. Thank you so much for sharing. I uh, like, I so honor you and like your like alignment to this climate that you're in now that is nourishing you and, you know, allowing you for more warmth and like that thaw, right. That thaw inwardly to heal, to nourish. Yeah. And, yeah. and yeah, it is, it is this, um, this practice of, of setting boundaries. Like it's like, I must surrender fully to like my healing journey now. And, it, and whatever that looks like is, is whatever that looks like. And, yeah. and, and having, you know, the kids that are grown that are being able to do their own thing. And, you know, the daddy that is, you know, hanging with the kids all, all the time and you being able to be more nomadic and just in the flow. That is, that's beautiful. And I'm thankful that you have the opportunity to really follow that, that path and be well, thrive. Thank you. Thank you. It's a journey. Yeah. Yeah. And it's, it's so true about like, there's some of, some of this stuff is just for, for our own personal practice. Like I really enjoy being a pioneer of this like wellness technology and sharing it outwardly and mm-hmm. like bringing awareness of, of what's available um, and being a guinea pig. And I also have to deepen in with the personal practice of it. And some days, mm-hmm. you know, sometimes it doesn't feel like something I want to share. And then some da- days it's like, no, I, I, I have the capacity to share this and right. I want the awareness. So it's, yeah, it's both or, or either, you know? Yeah. And yeah, the, the training, the terrain like that. I love that idea. It's like tending to the landscape of, of our physical body, of the waters, of our energy and electricity and light body, like all of these different parts of us that we get to tend and befriend and then essentially like train the landscape to be in that thriving state that takes time. And I feel like, I feel like the, the proper hydration is, is accelerating that, but it's like sustainable. Yeah. I'm sure like the, the absorption that you get from your nutrition is a hundred times better with the hydrogen. I know that like when I have really good water, like sometimes I get thirstier because I think my, my hydration process has wanted it so long for, you know, or so wanted it so bad for so long. Sometimes I notice myself get thirstier, but I don't think that's a bad thing. I think that especially with where some people's bodies are at, like mine, sometimes just needing that flush and that cleanse, it, it takes water. I mean, we don't wash our clothes in lemonade for a reason. Exactly. So new note. Nuno Nina is the creator of the bottle, right? He, um, mm-hmm. he was talking about, because that was one of the questions that came up in a recent um, call that I was watching. They're like, well, how come, you know, when I first get the bottle or what, you know, now that I have the bottle, sometimes I feel like thirstier and yeah. so am I really being hydrated? And Nuno says, well, your body now is getting hydrogen you know, in this hydration process. And so the body wants that more often. So the body will trigger the thirst mechanism of your body, because it knows now that you're going to drink the water that is nourishing and hydrating you. And so it's like, like the body's like, okay, we need more hydrogen. We've got more clear out and let's make you thirsty so that you breach for that water. That's really, you know, allowing us to thrive. So yeah. But yeah, I mean, it's, it's a, it's a beautiful tool in the toolbox. Like you said, there are so many different things that are part of the whole. 
right? That allow all the parts of us to really flow in that coherent state and, and have it be the sustainable practice. And, and I think that, the you know, being in integrity with all the parts that we need to prioritize in order for us to thrive, that's like, that's the path of self-mastery. That's the path of integrity. And, you know, we'll be messy humans and we'll fall off the path and, And we just keep, we just keep showing up and, and doing the very best, like to the capacity that we're able to in that moment, that's, that's how we show up. And, and that's just right. So. Yeah. That consistency, you know, I I've noticed when, when you're consistent with yourself, others end up being consistent with you. And I feel like that's what you're talking about, like how you respond when you fall off the path, when it gets messy. It's like that consistency is there. You've practiced it. And, you know, I heard this one saying it takes it takes practice to be a master, but it takes practice to stay a master, too. Once you get to that mastery point, it's like. It's still the practice. It's still, that practice is still wanting to be had and that consistency is still wanting to be had. I know with my friendships, like it's not going to just take one day of me building trust. I'm still building trust with friends that I've had for over 20 years. But that's why I have their friendship too, is because that trust is built and, and that's what grows that deeper, deeper, deeper awareness of each other, the the viewing of each other. So this water goes right along with it. It really does. I feel like we can see it through the eyes. You you know when someone's feeling nourished, you see it right in the windows of their soul. When you look, when they speak, it's in our gait, the way we walk, like we are water. We are water moving. So it's important to me for for those reasons too. I love that. And it is, it's so clear. I feel like like some days I'll I'll see somebody and I'm just like, you just need some some water. Like you're just yeah. dehydrated. And that's why everything is is aging yeah. or, or or you know or coming into that state of disease and staying there it's because it's because you're drying out and the cells don't have anything to work with and the body is out of the flow and it's just so clear like so yeah I mean I think that's really my purpose of doing these drinking at miracles conversations and it's like Mm -hmm. I have I have a way that you can thrive you know and you can be aware of it and then you do what you will with that information. And, and, but yeah, I mean, aging and aging is just drying out, right? It's just, yeah, Yeah, actually. Yeah, it is. It's the moisture is gone. I, you know, the fact that you're able to feel the skin on your, your skin change. I know that I'm going through pre-menopause like so all of these little changes where we notice our bodies go oh god this isn't normal for me that's where we support the, with the water that's where the miracles happen the you know that's why you're calling it miracles as far as i'm aware is that you already know what it's going to do over time you know there's no there's no straight lines in the universe but over time it it has that upward curve versus that downward curve slightly. It's that slight edge where, you know, you keep doing it over time and you, the changes are extraordinary. Look, it, we'll, we'll watch you after a year of this, like, <laughs> right? Like right. watch me after a year, like, like see me now, then watch me in a year. Yeah. You're not going to notice it maybe in a day. Well, I know you did right away. Like you felt the energetic, but I didn't. Yeah. 
you know, my body's at a different place too. So it's, but I already know that it does what it does and it makes sense to my heart. And so flowing with my heart, like I didn't know what Carolina's had for me. I didn't have a job here. I just literally like, I know it was, I knew in my heart. So that's the same thing. Some people are going to know in their heart. Some people are going to feel it right away. You know, we're all different. Exactly. Some people are going to want to share it. Some people are going to want to hold on to it and just like have it for their private because they're already in the nest Mm -hmm. in in ways to, to, to heal. So, so many different ways to experience this. Yeah. Let's just keep going with the flow and, and seeing, and seeing what, what yeah. is revealed and what offerings we can give and receive. And, and yeah, I love it. Thank you for, for your time and being with me and, and saying yes to hydrating in this way alongside yes. me. I just, I appreciate you so much. You are magical. <laughs> Thank you. As are you, my dove. And I'm so yeah. excited that you're in the beautiful Carolinas and are following your heart. Oh, it's so good there. Yeah. All right. I will let you continue with your beautiful day. Sending you love. And whoever's watching this, thank you for being here and witnessing our conversation. Bye.